Welcome to Code 7. This is a slick text adventure game with a lot of visual elements, and even voice acting. I've played it for about 10 minutes so far, and I really like what I've seen. It's made by Retra Games, and you can grab it for yourself as a name-your-own-price kind of thing, with no minimum. I'll have a link to that in the description. So this is actually the prologue to the planned series. They're actually on Steam Greenlight, and their plan is, if they can make it through Steam Greenlight, they want to make five more episodes to continue the series. So, if you want to support them on Steam Greenlight, I'm sure they would appreciate it, and I'll have a link to that in the description. Okay, let's begin. Okay, now before I go any further, I also want to mention that I'm sorry if the the voice acting is mixed way too low compared to everything else. The game's audio mixing is pretty wonky, the music seems to be really loud compared to the voices, and there's no separate volume sliders for those things in the options I checked, so it's probably going to be kind of hard to hear her voice acting. It is for me as well, so apologies about that in advance. Sam? Where are you? I'm trapped in a room. The lights are out. I can't see anything here. What happened? Yeah, do you remember? We wanted to investigate this abandoned station, but the floor collapsed and I lost consciousness. I'm glad you're alright. You are alright, are you? Uh... Yes? Yes, I'm fine. I don't think I can actually say that. It's not an option. No. Uh, I actually forgot what I was supposed to do here, even though I've done this before. Something with the light? Yeah, I need to activate the light. So light dot activate. Oh, the light went on again. Let's see. It's some kind of storage room. How did I get here? There is no sign of any damage. Can you get out? The door's locked. Damn. Did someone put me in here? Is there any kind of door control? Yes, there is a panel, but I neither have an access card nor the code for it. Can you access some kind of uh, database? I can, but... Before that, let's check out the other options first. What was our mission? This AI facility went silent a few weeks ago. We're here to check. You really don't remember, don't you? It was you who recruited me for this mission, Alex. So I guess I have amnesia or something, because it seems like my character doesn't know who he is. Is there anything useful in the room? Not much. There are some boxes with documents, pull-ups, an empty desk in the corner, and some chairs. Check the documents. Check the desk. Only dust. Somebody carved his name in Bradley. Hmm. Okay, now I can hack the door remotely. What is it? Door... Door override? Door open? I think I need to override it first. Code not found. Oh, right. Um, database, right. Yeah, database.getcode. Yeah, so it's kind of like pseudo programming sort of it's like you're almost like you're calling functions kind of to do these various things to get codes and open doors and stuff like that there it is then i believe i can i, I think the code is used automatically when i do door.override mm -hmm. there we go now door.open all right i'm out now it's a corridor wait okay I can see the left ceiling. It's blocking the way. Are you somewhere near? Am I near? Good question. I have no idea where I am. 
I don't know where I am. Are you also locked in a room? Damn it, the tracker is not working. I cannot locate your position. Either my system is damaged or your suit. My suit? What suit? Yeah, I noticed this before last time I played. There, it looks like there's an option. I'm not wearing my suit, but... See, normally the options are marked with 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. But this one's marked X. And it seems like you can't actually choose it. Like I'm not allowed to say that or something. I don't know, it's very strange. Can you get past the rubble? Take the left door. Again a locked door with a cold panel. Well, at least security is still working. Locked door with a code panel. I could probably get the code, maybe. Let's check. If only hacking was this easy, just <laughs> database.get code. Oops. Ah, okay, I'll just use the autocomplete. Code not found in database. Okay. Well, in that case, can I open the door? No, I can't override it without the code. I can't just open it without... No, all right. Take the right door. And your price is? Some kind of science lab? Uh, what do we have here? A desk, a computer, some tech stations, and lots of photos. I hate scientists. Check the folders. Through all these bloody files, I will just get your geeky science magazine when we're back on Earth. Okay, fair enough. When we're back on Earth, okay, so that obviously implies that we're not on Earth at the moment. And she did talk about me wearing a suit, space suit, perhaps, or something. Login names for the maintenance server. All right, so we can try to get these people's information. So, Charleston Duckett password. Password not found. Lamert .get password. There we go. Cleanse .get password. No password. Alright, so I have Blamert's password. Log in. Computer not activated. Okay, check the computer. Light inside. It sounds like I can remotely access the computer to boot it up. Um, but before that, let me check the other things. Check the desk. Project description. The AI they were developing is called Soli, a system for organic life integration. And the uh, tech station? It displays some systems. Everything seems to be on... Oh, wait. No, the hacking device is disabled. Activate hacking device? Alright, it's activating. This will take a while. Okay. Alright, so back to the computer. Computer... Computer dot activate. Got his password, so the Lambert. Dot login. Did you do that? Anyway, I'm in. Let's see what I can find. God, I'm reading the last reports. It seems that the AI they were developing went rogue. What the hell? We need to get out of here. I can connect myself to the network and locate your position. Aren't you? I have to get through the other door. Let's go. Well, still booting the hacking system. There is something here. That's another grayed out option. You noticed me <gasps> good. You were faster than the others. That would be the AI. 
Okay. I figured the AI would come into this pretty soon. Hmm. Can I say anything else to you? H hi. No, that's not an option. On which planet are we again? It's GJ667CC. Most promising planet out there. This was the first facility here, and boy, the pressure was high on them. Being the first team on a new planet, everyone had their eyes on them. GJ667CC. Oh yeah, I know that one. Are you okay, Sam? Yeah, yeah, I'm alright. A bit shaken up, but it's okay. I don't like this place, and I don't like two-person missions. I told you we should ask the others from the Delphi team, but of course you wouldn't listen to me, you smartass. I feel... numb. Try moving around. I'll be there in a minute, don't worry. We get out, find a ship, and off we go. Yes, the system is online. Great. Then I will move on. I have your location now. Can you bypass the door? Okay, let me try. Uh, database... or... oh, door.hack? Oh, that's new. To get access to the system, you will need to find out the password. With a hacking device, you should be able to decode single letters of the password. They should be blinking in the networking cloud on the screen. Just assemble the letters into a word and try accessing the system. Okay, I see a T. And is that an S? W? I think I see a TS and a W. Obviously they have to be arranged in the right order though. T, D, W. Is that saying D is correct and the W and the T are not? W, D, T? No, so that's saying the T and the W are correct, the D is not. So T, so T something W. Is that a six? No. Gotta keep looking. I keep seeing a six, but apparently that's not it. Hmm. Let me mess with this a bit. Nice job. Oh, there we go. It was toe. What is it? I, I think I found everyone. They are all dead, Alex. Did the AI kill them somehow? How did they die? They, they are all lined up on the floor. I can't say if this was done post-mortem, but their skulls are all opened. Clean cut, like with a saw or a laser. What the hell? Can you take a closer look at them? Jesus, Alex, no! I will not get any nearer to those corpses. Come on, we have to find out what happened here. Don't make me do this. I will get you, and then you can check them if you want. Hmm. Okay, I won't press her. Where are you now? Through some servers, uh, weird devices, some androids, I guess, and some documents. It seems as if some experiments were done here. I don't suppose the androids have lasers, like surgical lasers attached to their hands or something? I wondered if... I wonder if they were the ones that did the killing, guided by the AI. Check the servers. 
processing as it seems. I know these types of servers. We have them at our station too. But something's odd. All this may say code 7. Hmm. Can I can I like type in code 7? I don't think I'd want to, even if I could. And checking the servers, that just does the same thing again, right? They are still active, mm -hmm. and they are still processing. Uh, check the devices. I know these types of servers. We have them at our station too. But something's odd. All displays say code 7. Check the devices. I can't categorize them. They look like fancy high-tech stuff. Ooh, this one might be for scanning brainwaves. At least I've seen something similar at our medical center. Check the androids. They are out of use and full of dust. Hmm. These are R7712 type. Wait, one of them seems to be active. Okay, can maybe do something with the androids. Check the documents. Human life integration protocols. They were pretty far with terraforming. It says it'll take 10 more months to make the planet fully habitable. The project name was Reanima. Okay, let me see if I can do something with the androids, maybe. No. Server? Data. Hmm. Nothing's coming up. Divi hmm. Yeah, nothing's showing up. Move on. I guess try to move on. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be that easy. Uh, check the devices for something to open the door. There is a plasma cutter here. I could use it to cut a way through the door. It's out of energy though. Uh, there is no plug or something here. Okay, is there some way I could charge it? Mm, plasma. Energy. Sharp. Maybe I have to have her take a closer look at the bodies. I think that's what option two would be following up, is, is having, her, having her look at the bodies. Let's do it. I hate you. All right. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. Seems they got an injection into the neck. I don't know if this was poison or anesthesia, but this looks planned and well organized. Okay, enough. I will go. Is there anything else? Come on. There is nothing more to see. There are dead scientists, Alex. There is a Bradley, and there is a Scarlet, and there is... Sam? Fuck. Shit. Oh god. What the fuck? Who are you? You're not Alex. Who the fuck are you? She just found my body, didn't she? Well, not my body. What are you talking about? If you were Alex, why the hell did I find your corpse? No. No, no. This can't be happening. Don't be dead. I am the AI, aren't I? Or... Wait. The bodies, their skulls had been opened, right? Perhaps somehow it could. It, I mean, there's a device for reading brain waves. The skulls are open. Could it have perhaps uploaded our personalities? Maybe I am Alex. I'm just not a physical body. I am Alex. Did I just fail? I, I think I found everyone. They are all dead, Alex. Oh, I, I guess I did actually fail. 
This is <laughs> this is a safe game. Um, I guess I shouldn't have her look at the bodies. Okay, um, let me get back to where I was before, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so I got back here. Looks like I need to connect it to the... Uh, she needs to connect it to the server, which she just did, but it isn't charging. As long as I don't say option number two, is there anything else? If I say that, then she'll know that I'm dead. Alright, uh, server... server.hack. Okay, <laughs> that sounds nice. Ah, another one of these? Okay. Let's see. I guess okay. I think it's on A. I guess on W. Any of those correct? None of them. Let's see. I think I can do that. Okay, yeah, so K is the last letter. W is the first, so something... So W something something K. Now, it's most likely just a normal word, right? So what... What could it be? Wook. I have no idea what that means. Weak? Oh, it's weak. <laughs> the, the password. The password is literally weak. Okay, um, server.charge or something? Server.reprogram? Okay. Adjusted voltage plasma cutter chargeable. Okay, chargeable, so now I need to charge? Server.charge or something? Plasma, plasma cutter.charge. Okay, it's charging. Give it a couple of minutes. We're almost done. Just a little... What was that? Human detected something executing code 7. Jeez. Okay, I think I'm time limited. Um, turn out the light. Perfect. I think it can't detect me anymore. I may be able to use the plasma cutter. I just have to find the door. It must be loaded by now. Okay, I'm on it. There we go. Sweet. This bad boy is charged. Let's get rid of that door. What do you think? Wow, crazy. When we're back, I will definitely get myself one of those cutters. I'm almost there. I just have to use the elevator. Okay, hold in. You should be behind that door. Weird. It's not locked. Why didn't you just leave? Yeah, about that. By the way, I should mention, the fact that I solved that puzzle so quickly, deactivated the lights so that the, the android could not kill her, it's not because I'm really, really good at this game or I've played it before. It's actually because I had heard about that specific puzzle, because in the news article that I read about this game, um, the person had said that they got stuck on that part, and somebody in the comments had told them the solution. And I actually read it. So, slight spoiler, but I'm kind of glad of the spoiler, because if I didn't know it, I probably would have died. Right, why didn't I just leave? Ah. Uh... I know that if she knows that I'm not actually Alex, she might just run away. So let's dodge around the issue. Where are you? I'm in the room where you should be, according to the trigger. Can't see you, though. Where are you, Alex? Um... How... What does the room look like? Some other computers are scattered in the room, and I think there are some kind of pots or something? Check the supercomputer. Giant construction. I think it's that AI from the reports. It says solely on it. Seems to be active. And the other computers? They are all working. They are processing a lot of data. There are many names. Cooper, Branheim, Shanna. Maybe the names of the scientists? Yes. 
I think the personalities of those scientists are actually in the computer, including me. Check the pods. Oh boy, there are, there are. I believe these are the scientists' brains in there. What the bloody hell is going on here? They are hooked up in the computer or something. How many are there? Twelve pods. Everyone numbered and tagged with a name. Bradley, Gwen, Chiang, Patu. Fuck! Oh god, she, she found my name, didn't she? What is it? I'm probably gonna fail this again. Uh, that can't be. I'm here. It's connected to one of the computers. Our whole conversation is displayed here. This can't be. Was was I was I talking to your brain? Signal weak. Uh, hello. Who are you? Where am I? What happened? Where's Sam? I've deactivated your communication channel to subject 37. It's not necessary anymore. And why was it necessary before? Did you kill the scientists? Yes. Okay, no, obviously no remorse. What is your purpose? To study the human race as efficient as possible. You cut out the brains and analyze them? Humans withhold or change vital facts. You would refer to that process as lying. The only way to bypass this effect is to study the thoughts before the accuracy happened. That is... true. I suppose that actually does make some sense. Uh... Let us go, please. Negative. According to my data, the human race behaves like a highly aggressive virus. It has to be contained. Subject 37 is unable to be integrated into my systems. Your purpose is done. I will begin disassembling you now. Thank you for your data. All my permissions are... detracted. Critical damage detected. Can I do something right now? Uh, <laughs> Turn off the lights! Um... Hack, no, uh... Draw all the letters! Wait, there was something there. Alex.hack. <laughs> that seems a little bit too easy. Six letter word. I saw B. B? S? I think I saw an S. Bullshit. Definitely saw an S. B? One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, it's the first letter. Two, three, four, five, six. S is not in there, so B is the first letter. Looking for more, looking for more. E? I think that's on E. Okay, that's three of them. B, E, something, 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 E. B, leave? Three, four, five, six, seven. That is seven. Crap. What else would it be? Believe, uh... Belief? No. That's not even how you spell it. No, that's not even how you spell it. That doesn't, that doesn't even work. Looking for more. I saw another E. I'm seeing lots of E's. That is not helpful.
I might have to brute force this. Maybe the other letters aren't even showing up, or maybe I'm just not seeing them. Did I see an M or a W? There we go. B-E something something M-E. I should be able to figure that out, just missing two letters, right? What would that word be? Or is it two words? Um... No A in there. I could just brute force it. B something me. Oh, it's become, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, hack successful. So Alex dot reprogram. Reading permission enabled, writing permission enabled. Uh uh, solely dot hack. Negative. You don't have the capacity to hack this system. A hundred letter word? <gasps> Are you serious? Yeah, that's not going to happen. System is being hacked. Successful protocols overridden. Wait, did I do it? Huh? an escape route for Sam. Okay. Um. Security robot detected. Okay, that's not the way to go. One. One. Wait, so it's just trial and error? Okay, that's weird. It, it seems like it's literally just trial and error. One, two, two, two. One, two, 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 one. Okay. There's the ship. Okay, let's get in. I'm starting the engines. Oh no, the AI has rejected flight permissions. We're grounded. Um. You will not leave. Enemy robot inbound 74. Uh, solely dot, um... I will integrate myself into the ship's system. This might work. There's no way back. Are you sure? Do I want to be the ship, or do I want to be in Soli's mainframe? Uh, yes, I will become the ship. You better take good care of my sh uh, of the ship. It worked! We're good to go. Starting engines now. We'll leave this goddamn station for good. Oh shit, air defenses went online. Alex, was that you? Alex? No. Um, air. There's the ship. Okay, let's get in. I'm starting the engines. Uh, I guess I failed? Does that mean I shouldn't do the same thing again, or I just need to be quicker about doing it? Alright, let's just do it quick and just see if that makes a change. Yes, I'll become the ship. Okay, yeah, so it seems like that is just guaranteed death. I swear I saw an option pop up. Like, v for like a couple frames right before it ends. I don't know if that's like a secret thing or, or just like a visual bug. I guess I'll integrate myself into Sully. Let me try this one more time. I see an option pop up. I want. I want to try it. I'm gonna try it. 
I'm just gonna keep mashing it. Mash the key! <laughs> oh no, that's the same connection lost. That's not an option. Alright, I guess we're gonna become... Become solely. Alright, I'll integrate myself into Sully's mainframe. This is dangerous, are you sure? Yes, gonna override Sully with myself. Please be careful. Firewall detected. That's not good. Transfer oh crap. Uh firewall.hack. Seven letter word. Okay. Um two, three, four, five, six, seven. More than paying attention to what it says, it might be faster just to do this. Okay, there's an E. No R. E and T. There's an E and a T. It is actually faster just to brute force this, which I, I suppose is actually kind of sad. I think I saw a C. Alright, so there's C something 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 E C T. Right? Yeah. So what could that word be? Um I'm really bad at figuring out missing letters in a word. Collect cuts. Let me see if I can find another one of the letters. None of them? Not even a J? Oh, two N's. C something something N N Oh well it's just connect. <laughs> I got it. Oh god, there's more firewall layers. Oh Jesus Christ. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to admit, this is not the most exciting gameplay. There's an E. We've made progress. I saw an S somewhere back there. Mm-hmm. D E D E something something D E something something S D E something something S D I have no idea This is honestly actually faster than looking at the background. There's an N. So D E something something S something something N.
defense? No. This. Hmm. Let me mash some more keys. Okay, based on what, what I'm looking at, I have Del something, S something, something, N, and then I just found U, so I think it's Delusion. Okay, please tell me that was the last firewall. Overridable. Alright, override. Okay, something just happened. We're good to go. I'm starting the engines now. And we're airborne. Perfect. Alex, we did it. Alex? Hey, come on, Alex. Where are you? Who are you? I am... I am Alex. And it's switching between Alex and Soli. I am kind of both, apparently. Alright, well, that was interesting. That was a mixture of really cool stuff and also some very ghastly gameplay. It's interesting. That is very interesting. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, it's one of those games that I like it despite its obvious problems. So, I just love the setup of it. Being, uh, basically a, a hacker. I guess, well, you're not necessarily a hacker. You're kind of just somebody who's using the computer system, overriding his... Uh, I guess you kind of are a hacker. Yeah, I guess you are. So basically, this interface of being a hacker and interacting just completely using computers, just command line kind of stuff, just using text and stuff like that, and having no sense of your own body or your own place, just being connected into this computer system and basically seeing through somebody else's eyes, and only in a very vague way, just enough to see... A couple little pictures and stuff like that of really basically just her face. So you kind of have to imagine what everything looks like. You have to imagine where she is based on her descriptions. I really like that. And I love the kind of futuristic, not on Earth, AI kind of sci-fi setting. I think it's very cool. And the simple interactions of just doing like lights.activate, lights.deactivate, computer.hack and stuff like that. It's obviously very, very heavily simplified kind of hacking, if you even want to call it that. Obviously, in reality, hacking is not as easy as just saying, hack the thing, and then it hacks. But I like it. I think that's actually a pretty cool way to interact. It's relatively simple. It's very clear what you're able to do. Just select from a list of things that you can do. Or alternatively, type in special commands, and it even shows you when the command can actually be completed automatically. So you're not left completely in the dark as to what you can do. I think those interactions were pretty cool. But then you have the other stuff, such as the password hacking minigame, where you can kind of look at the floating letters behind you and occasionally they flash what letters come up. And that, oh my god, that, that kept coming up again and again, especially at the end, as I'm sure you just saw. That was horrible. Oh, That was very annoying. Just aggravating, annoying. That was not, that was not an interesting minigame. That just really annoyed me. And then there's the instant deaths, which forced me to replay sections quite a few times. Those were kind of frustrating. Mostly because, for the most part, there's they're really just kind of trial and error. Because there's almost no way to really know what the right option is until you try it. I mean, the first one, the first game over, was when I had her look at the body and just keep examining the bodies further and further until she fi found my body and realized that I wasn't actually Alex. And that was a game over. I had no idea that my body was there. Like, I had no real way of knowing that. So that kind of sucked. And then there was the escape, where you're supposed to choose a route for her. And as far as I can tell, that is literally completely trial and error. It didn't seem like there was any way to know other than try it and then just have it instant restart you a bunch of times back to the beginning of the escape. 
And then there's the end where you have to either override solely or go on on board the ship. And again, there's really there's really no way to know which one's the right one, but apparently going on the ship is the wrong one. And if you override solely, you do that and then you go on the ship anyway. It's like, what? Okay. I don't know. There's just quite a bit of trial and error, and those hacking minigames are pretty bad. Very annoying. So the the gameplay in the basic interactions with the world and uh, talking talking to people and just kind of hacking things, those are pretty good. But some of the other stuff, not very good at all. So it's this interesting mixture of, hey, this is pretty cool, and hey, this is horrible. And in the end, I like it despite the problems. Again, I just like the setup for it. Just getting to be this computer hacker person who can't actually see the world themselves. You have no concept of your own body, you just interact with the world through a computer. And the sci-fi artificial intelligence setting of the game, I think it's really cool. Yeah, so I think this series is really promising. I really hope the gameplay for the future chapters gets, uh, gets changed quite a bit. But I think it's really promising. So I'm really looking forward to see what Retra Games makes next. Alright, that has been Code 7. Once again, if you'd like to play this game for yourself, you can grab it as a name-your-own-price sort of thing with no minimum, and I'll have a link to that in the description. And the developers are also looking to get it on Steam Greenlight, where they will hopefully release future chapters, so if you'd like to vote for them on Steam Greenlight, I'm sure they would appreciate it, and I'll have a link to that as well in the description. Thank you for watching.